from the desk at Old Mates. You're watching Backyard Tech. It was uh, hinted some months ago that Microsoft's new Power Toys run launcher for Windows 10 would be released sometime before the middle of this year. Well, I've got news for you. In fact, I've got breaking news for you here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, Microsoft's new Power Toys run launcher for Windows 10 is now available for download. From Backyard Tech, this is breaking news. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is breaking news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel and I've just seen this one and it was uh, issued well, 11 a.m. American time, but I got wind of it about six hours ago, and I've just seen it show up in my news feeds. This is from The Verge. Microsoft's new Power Toys run launcher for Windows 10 is now available to download. The open-sourced app will include custom plugins in the future. Microsoft is releasing a new Spotlight-like launcher app for Windows 10 today. Designed to replace and modernise the existing Windows Plus R shortcut, the new Power Toys Run Launcher will include quick search for apps and files across Windows, plugins like Calculator and the ability to find running processes. This earlier version will support basic search tasks that are typically handled by the built-in Windows Start menu search functionality. But there are plans to make this more powerful launcher that's similar to Alfred on macOS and more functional than Apple's Spotlight Search. The current Windows Plus R functionality is basic and used by Windows Power users to launch CMD prompt, regedit, PowerShell instances and even shortcuts to areas in Windows like the control panel. The new Power Toys Run Launcher will support all of the same commands that Run does currently in Windows but Microsoft is collaborating with an open-sourced community that's contributing to make it far more powerful. Microsoft has been working with makers of Wox and Window Walker to incorporate these projects into PowerToys Run. The basics are arriving today, all by all bite in an early version that will have some bugs here and there, unsurprisingly. We know when Microsoft released some stuff it's full of bugs. The benefits of the launcher, of a launcher, I'm sorry, will, hang on, start that again. The benefits of a launcher mean we'll soon get plugins or the ability to add custom web searches, snippets, and more. Microsoft's existing Windows Start menu handles search results from the web, but it also forces you into Bing search results and opens the Edge browser for any web queries, which from my point of view, infuriates me, and that's why I don't use the web search functionality from within Windows Search. I tend to just go to Firefox. Alongside Power Toys Run, Microsoft is also releasing a keyboard manager Power Toy today. It's a simple keyboard remapper that allows Windows 10 users to redefine keys on a keyboard. Keys will be remapped as long as the keyboard manager and power toys are running in the background. And you can swap individual keys and even Windows shortcuts. The keyboard manager is part of the latest 0.18 release of power toys available on Microsoft's GitHub distro. Power toys run and keyboard manager are part of many power toys that Microsoft is developing. Microsoft originally bought back power toys last year to allow anyone to improve Windows 10 for power users and the first set arrived in September. Power Toys was first introduced back in Windows 95. The apps were, qu were a quick way for Windows engineers to test prototype features, and Microsoft soon packaged some of the best ones into Power Toys bundles. So, um, it's available to download. Um, Look, my big concern with this is we know when Microsoft, and, and the same can be said for Windows updates as well, when Microsoft releases something new, it's, as the article said, it'll be full of bugs here and there, but I reckon it'll be, full, I, I think it'll be more buggy right now. But for those that want to try it out and have a bit of a sticky beak at it, I'd go for it. I'll leave a link in the description below for the GitHub project and the link to the article as well. But... 
That's what it's going to look like, guys. It almost looks Ubuntu-ish, doesn't it? Really close to it in my in my mind, but there we go. Bit of breaking news for you here at Backyard Tech for midweek Wednesdays. We'll see what else crops up. Other than that, I'll catch you tonight. Have a good one. Cheers.